Henry. Ron, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Let me ask you that question. Yesterday, it seems as though markets were um, reassessing whether a Fed pivot really is right around the corner after that stronger than expected ISM uh, services print. What is your take around the path forward for the Fed? Well, clearly there's been a slowdown in, in, in rate hikes and the market's been uh, uh, surprised by that. And uh, uh, it, the dollar has, has posted interim uh, peak. It's rocked and rolled this year. So up 20% year to date, hitting a historic pain threshold, uh, which has since unwound uh, and rolled uh, beneath its long-term strategic 200 moving average. So that continues to be priced into the market here and now. Um, and what we're seeing is, uh, as a, 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 a stabilization and expectations. Where where do you see the U.S. dollar going from here? Um, do you think that now is the time for investors to think about shorting the greenback? Yes, yeah, so certainly we, we're breaking down below the 200 moving average is key. Um, and it, and while we hold below there, although we're, we're still testing, it will likely continue into key levels at uh, 103, which is the pre-pandemic peak level, um, and 99, uh, which is an important uh, lower support level, close to the 100 uh, psychological mark. Now, what, what is important is to keep in mind the relative performance. So it's not so much dollar outperforming uh, as, uh, as, as a standalone basis, but more in terms of the relative underperformance of its uh, index constituents, like the euro, like the Japanese yen. Many of these have been oversold massively, uh, particularly the yen. Uh, they will have uh, uh, received a welcome respite, uh, but... Uh, according to my analysis, currencies like the euro and the pound will still likely revisit their extreme lows, but uh, th there'll likely be a break in trend on, on the yen, uh, Swiss franc, and a few other uh, currencies, including emerging markets, uh, which will start to outperform. What is going to be the catalyst for the yen? It's been such a huge mover, and I think it's burned a lot of investors. What's going to turn it around in your view? I, I mean, purely based on 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 the technical trend, that, I mean that that has uh, finally re reversed and, and is still showing signs of that. Uh, given that it was it was massively overextended, uh, perhaps on, on macro uh, uh, policy will change as well. Uh, given that uh, the yen has 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 unwound some uh, somewhat, uh, but certainly. Uh, safe haven plays going into next year, the yen will likely be bid alongside the Swiss franc. They tend to uh, be more stable and attractive uh, during elevated volatility. That stood the test of time and will likely uh, to continue in complement to the dollar or perhaps as a standalone if the dollar continues to unwind. And let's also keep in mind some of those uh, cross-asset uh, safe haven plays like the uh, like gold, which is still bid, um, it's still holding up uh, into its 200 moving average and will likely remain uh, elevated to the upside uh, as the dollar uh, continues to unwind.